welcome to my channel so today we can study structural analysis okay okay first is when we give a load when we give a load to the structure when we give a load to structure what it happened it happened either it respond or uh, this is consider this as input so we are giving this load as input and there is a structure okay so this is a building okay this is a building and we'll we are giving this law to the structure and this is a building so next what it is happening so it responds it responds the it it should give some response like it may deflect or it may respond so this is just what this is considered as this output okay what is happening so this is what this is structural designing structural designing means what so what is this response so if we give some input what it uh, what it give as output so this is what structural design okay so structural analysis predicts the response in terms of the forces and displacement of a given structure existing or propped proposed subject to the specified load so what it is what is the structure analysis so structural analysis means what structural analysis means it predicts the response so to find this response it predicts okay so what will be the response uh, so it resp it uh, responds as either as this force or it it uh, produce some displacements of that given structures so okay there will be an existing structures if we give an output it respond to some extents in terms of this either force or displacement so to study about this we are studying what structural analysis next what is this objective of studying the structural analysis so what is this objective objective is nothing but we want to determine the reactions so to determine the reactions at the supports we are studying the structure analysis so next is what the force the in and uh, we are studying about what we are studying about this reactions we are studying about this reactions it supports next what we are studying we are studying what the force what is the force at this members and joints okay next okay so okay we have just studied for what we have studied structure analysis next what is a structure what is a structure so structure is nothing but if this is a consider this is a uh, okay so this is a structure this is if we apply some load to this support so this is a support and assume that what you are having a load at here so if the if it is stable systems if it's stable systems it undergoes a de deformation of application of this uh, application of this external okay so wait wait okay so after removal of this load so if we have applied this load uh, okay so we have applied some load and it became what it became this deflected curve like this it become this deflected curve like this so after becoming this deflected curves it's stable system if it is a stable system it undergoes what it undergoes a certain deformation while application of the certain loads that if if we apply certain loads it undergoes uh, deformation so that's called what stable system if this deflected curve go to its original position the if the if this is a deflected curve assume this has the deflected curve if this deflected curve moves to this original position so if we apply load if there is some deflected curve and this deflected curve become move to this original position like this if it's become this original position like this uh, the internal resistance which is formed in that is known as what structure so that internal resistance so that internal resistance is known as what structure next we can see what is this mechanism so 
what is this mechanism of a structure so if there is a load like this if you apply a load so if this deflected curve so this is this deflected curve if this deflected curve is what linear consider if this deflected curve or this variation of this deflection curve is linear then it is called what linear okay that is uh, if it is linear it's what it's what so this is called what unstable system or unstable system means what if we have applied load this is initial position and while application of this load it became this deflected curve like this and it won't what it won't recover to the original position this variation won't recover to this original position then it is called what unstable system so initially what is happening initially there is no load then we are applying this load if this deflected curve is linear then just we are just okay looking if this uh, if this is deformed permanently or if it is recovering if it's not recovering it's this unstable system for example for example we can see an example so there is a roller support like this so due to this external load application so it moves to what here okay so this is this roller support if what if there is a horizontal if there is a horizontal or if there is a load application like this consider whether whatever it is whatever position it is if a load is applied on this roller support what it will happen so consider this as the my pen as this roller support it will move like this only it will move like this only okay so it will move like this only so this is called what this is called this rigid body translation this is called what rigid body translation so what is this rigid body translation rigid body translation means what this entire beam so this entire beam can for can free to move in this horizontal direction and will not go to this original position if i just apply this load like this this is the consider this uh, this pen as uh, a uh, roller support okay so if i apply a load it can move to this horizontal direction but it won't get back to this original position it will not go to this original position okay so this is called what rigid body translation so due to this horizontal load it takes place so if we are applying this horizontal load like this it will move like this okay okay next is what so i am just taking this another example okay so i am taking this another example as this uh, okay so I, we can take the simply supported beam okay so we have one end is hinged and one end is this load sorry roller okay so what happened this there is an internal hinge assume that there is an internal hinge in between this so if we apply this load if we apply load what is happening if the load is applied on it so it will deflect if this is that particular beam if this load is applied it will become like this it will deflect like this okay so this deflected profile if this deflected profile is linear this deflected profile is linear then it is called that theta is called what rigid body rotation so i will draw with this another pen okay so this is internal hinge and while while application of this load like this it will deform like this it will it will deform like this so what happen if we do if, if it did deform like this so there is an angle which is developed on it so that angle if we remove that load it's not given so linear so here it is linear if that load is removed it's not linear so load applied to that so load applied it will get to get to change of this deflected profile so this deflected profile is in linear okay so this theta what this theta is called this theta is called what rigid body rotation okay 
next what is so if there is a rigid body rotation there will definitely be a non rigid body rotation so what will be the non non rigid body rotation means if we have applied the load and not going to original position here if this load is removed it is going to the original position but what here if we apply load so this is what this is another example of this uh, this is another example so this is what this is called what not not rigid body rotation this is not what this is not rigid body rotation okay